Rob Tubbett for ID Boxing. Delighted to be joined by George Groves. We are here in the immediate aftermath of Adam Azim's win over Santos Reyes, a very tough Santos Reyes. George, what'd you make of that? Ah, oh, it was awesome, wasn't it? I tell you, I'm gonna do that thing that all the American fighters do. I'm just give a shout out. I'm gonna shout out to Arlo. It was Arlo's christening today. Uh, I was Godfather. How about that, eh? How about that? Shout out to you, Arlo. Christina and Alex picked me as Godfather. Predominantly because of my wife's friends and them, and, you know, but, but I'm here. Uh, and uh, so that was good. It's a holy day. Came here, watched the boxing, done the work. It was all good. And we had Adam Azim in the main event against uh, Cleo Reyes, wasn't it? It was a <laughs> fucking hard bastard, weren't he? He, uh, he took his licks. He went over in the second round. It was like, oh. And then there was eight, or how many has he stopped lately? But uh, no, he got up, and we saw. A great performance from Adam Azim, uh, but he, you know, he didn't get he didn't get the the blitzing stoppage that I know he craves. But valuable rounds for him. He's a really tough guy. Um, it was great. It was really, it was, it's, it's great. I, he's, he is a super talent. You know what I mean? Um, I'm always quick to like bring people back down to earth, and I, you know, if you, if there's someone's scaring too much in, um, but he is he is a super talent. You know, uh, he's he's flying. So uh, yeah, I. I Brilliant performance from him. Great fight. It's an honour to call it. You mentioned there uh, a lot of people, myself included, expected uh, Adam Azim to, to close the show and win by stoppage. He didn't, but how important is it that he's got those rounds and at this stage of his career he now knows that he can't just go in there and blow everybody out? How important is that for him to develop at this stage? I think it's, I think it would be, be invaluable. You know, you, you don't want to get to championship level and you've blown everyone out and you're fighting for your first world title and then the guy gets up off the floor and grins at you and then he comes back and you're going to have to dig deep something you've never done before. He didn't necessarily have to dig deep tonight, but um, he had to be switched on. He got caught probably more in this fight than he did you know, in his previous half a dozen uh, combined. He, uh, it's definitely stuff that he can improve on now because he can look at it and he's a student. You know, he's, he's definitely boxing through and through, so he'll go back, he'll study the tapes look where he can make improvements um, and I'm sure some of the stuff that he's been doing already in the gym with with Shane and Josh and you know, it's, you know, if he's doing technical stuff with his brother and stuff like that he'll be doing it and now it's like well look this is what we need to now add you know when it crops up in the fight because you know, the next guy they get him in with he might blitz him in two rounds again you know but it just goes to show that um, he's sharp he's he's sharp he's got lightning fast hands to be lightning fast reactions and because of that he punches with with spite and venom he's got a great boxing iq i think he sees the shots he understands boxing this flies is around you rob not me i smell golden <laughs> um so no he's, he's you know but there's, there's always room for improvement and um try and dig out a few more guys like this fella this nicaraguan can't say Nicarag. Can you can you say Nicaraguan? Nicaraguan. Oh, for fuck's sake! It's, so you get the top job. Uh, he's a tough. The the, the 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 men they know how to fight. They know how to handle themselves. Um, you know, unbeaten came, didn't surrender. Um, if you can dig out a few more chaps like that on his way through, you know, maybe not always headlining as well. You know, because that's an added pressure. I'd like to see him be on a big card. Maybe I don't know when the next pay-per-view card is, but slip him in chief support or something like that. Take him off to the states. You know, I don't know whether it'll be in Sky's interest or, or Ben Shalom boxer's interest, but get him out to the states. Get him on some of them big cards out there. Get him in there with some of them. You know, the club fighters in America who are actually, you know, they could be well well beaters over here. So uh, no, he's a. Massive future, Hassan the same. Um, he boxed the weirdest dude I've ever seen. Did you see the undercard fight? Um, hurt him with like, the first shot. I think the guy ruptured both his Achilles at the same time. He's done a funny dance for the rest of the fight, but punched long and loose. Everyone tonight punched long and loose. It was, uh, it, was it was a really good show to be at. One fight that I do want to get your opinion on, uh, the battle of two former George Grove sparring partners in Zach Chelly and Anthony Sims. Uh, a wide decision win for Zach Chelly, which I think, you know, is a mini upset. I think people were kind of looking at it as a potential 50-50 fight, but leaning more towards Anthony Sims. You've been in the ring with both of them. Were you surprised how it played out? Not really, to be honest, because um, I've got a lot of time for, for both guys. Um, I saw both guys before the, before the fight and I wish them both well. Um, Anthony... Sims is talent wise, he's almost gifted. Do you know what I mean? He's, he's, he's exceptional. I was sparring him five years ago. I think he was 22 years of age. He already sparred all the best uh, world champions out at the time. There was 
and, and future stars like Benavidez and future champions like that. Um, we brought him over here and he could hang for six for six rounds. He was super sharp, could punch like fuck. Um, great, you know, that relaxed, that relaxed cronk style. Um, followed him on Instagram. We've seen him do rollerblading. He's fucking amazing. Like, he's got rhythm. He's got, and he's, he's a soul brother. That's how he stands and talks. He thinks he's a throwback. Um, but Chelly, um, it's about cab calling, right? Um, he plants his, plants his weight on the right side and then he swings a haymaker right hand and then he just couldn't miss tonight. He just found a home for it, built into the fight. So even when the, you know, even when I felt Sims was, was, you know, dictating the pace a little bit, dictating the distance and that you'd get caught with a couple of shots at the end of the round in the first half of the fight. And they might have been the eye catching round, uh, eye catching punches to, to win in the round. Near the end, Chelly was now, um, found his confidence. He was he throwing that right hand, bombing back with a big left hook. Um, body shots went in pretty well. Um, I think they both felt the pace. It was a physical fight. Sims tried to jump on him in the eighth and, and just sort of emptied the tank a bit. Um, Shelley weathered the storm and won. Uh, I had a little bit closer on my cards than, than, than the judges did, um, but I made, made Shelley a winner with, with, the, with the more eye-catching shots. Okay, George, I know you've got to shoot off. Uh, before you do, I uh, just want to get uh, your final words on a tragic uh, occurrence in the boxing world, uh, the death of Ron Lewis, uh, somebody who I know would have covered a lot of your career. Um, uh, colleague a friend to all of us uh, a real tragedy for for the community no it really is uh ron's um you know I, I never worked with him as such but he covered me from really early on in my career and i appreciate that a boxing journalist through and through old school come ask the right questions quote you correctly that was a, a priceless uh, you know in that time so um lovely guy um really sad tragic Apparent, I, don't, I don't know anything, you only heard, seen what I've seen online, um, shocking, came out of nowhere, um, I send my regards to, to his family um, in this devastating time for them. Well said, George, always a pleasure, I'm sure I'll catch up with you soon, if not, I'll be listening to the George Groves Boxing Club podcast available on all of your podcast outlets. Every Wednesday. <laughs>